Minoxidil is an antihypertensive vasodilator medication and is used to treat hair loss. It is available as a generic medication and over-the-counter for the treatment of androgenic alopecia, a form of hair loss, in people. Medical uses Minoxidil, applied topically, is widely used for the treatment of hair loss. It is effective in helping promote hair growth in people with androgenic alopecia regardless of sex. About 40% of men experience hair regrowth after 3 to 6 months. Minoxidil must be used indefinitely for continued support of existing hair follicles and the maintenance of any experienced hair regrowth. Its effect in people with alopecia areata is unclear. Side effects Minoxidil is generally well tolerated, but common side effects include burning or irritation of the eye, itching, redness or irritation at the treated area, and unwanted hair growth elsewhere on the body. Exacerbation of hair loss, alopecia has been reported. Severe allergic reactions may include rash, hives, itching, difficulty breathing, tightness in the chest, swelling of the mouth, face, lips, or tongue, chest pain, dizziness, fainting, tachycardia, headache, sudden and unexplained weight gain, or swelling of the hands and feet. Temporary hair loss is a common side effect of minoxidil treatment. Manufacturers note that minoxidil-induced hair loss is a common side effect and describe the process as shedding. Alcohol and propylene glycol present in some topical preparations may dry the scalp, resulting in dandruff and contact dermatitis. Side effects of oral minoxidil may include swelling of the face and extremities, rapid and irregular heartbeat, lightheadedness, cardiac lesions, and focal necrosis of the papillary muscle and subendocardial areas of the left ventricle. Cases of allergic reactions to minoxidil or the non-active ingredient propylene glycol, which is found in some topical minoxidil formulations, have been reported. Pseudoacromegaly is an extremely rare side effect reported with large doses of oral minoxidil. Minoxidil may cause hirsutism, although it is exceedingly rare and reversible by discontinuation of the drug. Mechanism of action the mechanism by which minoxidil promotes hair growth is not fully understood. Minoxidil is a potassium channel opener, causing hyperpolarization of cell membranes. Hypothetically, by widening blood vessels and opening potassium channels, it allows more oxygen, blood, and nutrients to the follicles. This may cause follicles in the telogen phase to shed, which are then replaced by thicker hairs in a new anagen phase. Minoxidil is a prodrug that is converted by sulfation via the sulfotransferase enzyme SULT1A1 to its active form, minoxidil sulfate. Several studies demonstrated that the activity of sulfotransferase in hair follicles predict minoxidil response in the treatment of hair loss. Minoxidil is less effective when the area of hair loss is large. In addition, its effectiveness has largely been demonstrated in younger men who have experienced hair loss for less than five years. Minoxidil use is indicated for central vertex hair loss only. Minoxidil is also a vasodilator. Two clinical studies are being conducted in the U.S. for a medical device that may allow patients to determine if they are likely to benefit from minoxidil therapy. History Initial application Minoxidil was developed in the late 1950s by the Upjohn Company, later became part of Pfizer, to treat ulcers. In trials using dogs, the compound did not cure ulcers, but proved to be a powerful vasodilator. Upjohn synthesized over 200 variations of the compound, including the one it developed in 1963 and named Minoxidil. These studies resulted in FDA approving Minoxidil, with the trade name, Lonidin in the form of oral tablets to treat high blood pressure in 1979. Hair growth When Upjohn received permission from the FDA to test the new drug as medicine for hypertension they approached Charles A. Chidsey, M.D., Associate Professor of Medicine at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. He conducted two studies, the second study showing unexpected hair growth. Puzzled by this side effect, Chidzi consulted Gwinter Khan and discussed the possibility of using minoxidil for treating hair loss. 
Khan along with his colleague Paul J. Grant M.D. obtained a certain amount of the drug and conducted their own research, apparently without notifying Upjohn or Chidzi. The two doctors had been experimenting with a 1% solution of minoxidil mixed with several alcohol-based liquids. They tried to patent the drug for hair loss prevention, but found that Upjohn had already done this. A decade-long trial between Khan and Upjohn ended with Khan. S name included in a consolidated patent US number 4596812 Charles A Chidzi 3 and Gwinter Khan in 1986 and royalties from the company to both Khan and Grant meanwhile the effect of minoxidil on hair loss prevention was so clear that in the 1980s physicians were prescribing lonidin off label to their balding patients in August 1988 the FDA finally approved the drug for treating baldness in men under the trade name Rogaine. FDA rejected Upjohn's first choice, Regain, as misleading. The agency concluded that although the product will not work for everyone, 39% of the men studied had moderate to dense hair growth on the crown of the head. In 1991, Upjohn made the product available for women. On February 12, 1996, the FDA approved both the over the counter sale of the drug and the production of generic formulations of minoxidil. Upjohn replied to that by lowering prices to half the price of the prescription drug and by releasing a prescription 5% formula of Rogaine in 1997. In 1998, a 5% formulation of minoxidil was approved for non prescription sale by the FDA. As of 2014, it was the only topical product that is FDA approved for androgenic hair loss. The drug is available over the counter in many countries, including United Kingdom, Sweden, and Germany, available from registered pharmacies only. Trade names As of June 2017 Minoxidil was marketed under many trade names worldwide, Alomax, Alopec, Alopexy, Alorexil, Alostil, Aloxid, Aloxidil, Anagen, Apogain, Axilan, Below Hair, Boots Hair Loss Treatment, Botifex, Capillus, Carexidil, Coverit, Dafe Shin, Dilane, Dinaxinco, Dinaxil, Eversedin, Eminox, Foldcare, Gyotin, Hair Grow, Hair Treat, Hairgain, Hairgain, Hair Grow, Hairway, Headway, Anoxy, Ivex, Karenine, Lacovine, Losemix, Lonidin, Lonotin, Lonolox, Lonotin, Loxin, ME Medic, Mave Medic, Mandy, Minoxidil, Manti, Mens Rogaine, Minidil, Minidril, Ministil, Minivital, Minox, Minoxy, Minoxidil, Minoxidilum, Minoximin, Minoxidin, Minscalp, Mintop, Modal, Moxidil, Neopruristum, Neocapil, Neoxidil, Nerea, Noxidil, Oxophenyl, Pilfid, Pilagro, Pylomin, Piloxidil, Recrea, Regain, Regain, Regaxidil, Regrow, Regrow, Regrew, Regrowth, Relive, Renoble Locion, Redin, Rexidil, Rogaine, Rogan, C. by Shen, Splendora, Superminox, Trephisty, Tricolition, Tricoplus, Tricovivax, Tricoxane, Trugin, Tugin, Unipexel, Vaxtel, Bias, Women's Regain, Xenogro, Shui Rui, Ylox, and Zeldalon. It was also marketed as combination drug with amifampridine under the brand names Gain Hair and Hair 4 U, and as a combination with tretinoin and clobetacil under the brand name Systema GB. See also Capexil, an analog of minoxidil missing the piperidine substituent Pinacidil Diazoxide Finasteride Dutasteride References External links Minoxidil Topical, Medline Plus Drug Information